Uh, shout out to uh, everybody who's writing to their prison pen pal right now. I'm your Sunday roasty rat cousin. We're actually going to try a, a demo that I thought looked interesting on Reddit today. Whatever. Who cares? Maybe they'll start hosting me as the video. So if you're if you if you're the developer of this game and you see this video on YouTube, uh, you gotta put me as the video for all gameplay. And I'm not I'm not answering this phone call until you do. Speaking of, actually, let's move our beautiful head up into the corner. Uh, should I answer? It's the Human Resources Department. Nah, reset. I apologize if I bother you. I need to fill out your survey. Please call me back or fill in the form yourself. I don't need anybody else. I fill in the survey myself. My place of birth? I, b I was born in the periphery, in the frontier. I'm charismatic. And I'm a leader. Or, uh, yeah, let's be born in the periphery. My initial education? Girl, I was a smuggler. Uh, I'm the most charismatic there. Hey, why Drake? Uh, I, 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 I'm, uh, let's, what do we like? What do we like? Bandit's victim. I became an expert on space station and ship systems by taking another job. I've contacted the wrong people. I was in crime. I was smuggling and I met the wrong people. Uh, the position I got uh, was manager because I'm, uh, uh, no, no, uh, yeah. Or a manager. Let's read about a manager. We passed the assessment of personal skills. I received the position of manager at a mining mine. I'm scheduling. I'm communicating with workies. I, I'm upset at the tasks. Slow down, Animal Fry. Why are you telling me to slow down? Look at us. We're the most beautiful worker. We're Alex Neza. <laughs> okay, go clean your rat kids. Send us lots of videos. It's Sunday. You you chill the F out, Animal Fry. We're the most beautiful guy. I didn't say a swear word, did I? My name's Roy. I'm the captain of security and you're driver today. You're new in administration, right? Does it matter? Well, if, if you don't want to introduce yourself, uh, don't. We're at a halt. We have some problems with the power. If you can help, come to Kaluski. The faster we fix it, the sooner we go. Whoa, 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 what can I do while we're on halt? Sarge set up a shooting range so I can practice shooting. You can chat with the guys, stretch your legs, but don't go too far. What kind of place is this? It's a geothermal power plant. Old, just like my hernia. You can stop, recharge, stretch your legs. Yeah, you already told me about all the stretching. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. I'm moving and I'm looking around. I got my helmet. What's up? Hello there. Hey, Kaluski. What you doing? I play with my balls. Whoa. These are very special balls. <laughs> what the heck? A couple of hours and only corpses will ride to the mine. You get what I'm saying? LSS. Life support system punches punches nitrogen in your mouth. Anyway, I fixed everything, but I need to put in a new power unit. Listen, bro. Go to the power unit. Bring the C power unit. It's the only difference is the green light is on. I'll put down your hours on myself then. Ah, uh, so you're from the administration. Dart, sorry, bro. I'll go do everything myself. Damn. Yeah, we got out of work. Bro, bro, we got out of work, guys. Well, well, all right. The rover is ready. We can continue on your way. I am Roy. I'll oh, ready to move on. Excellent. Have you ever drove such a rover? You want me to drive? We just need a co-pilot while Kaluski is resting. Come on, I'll tell you everything along the way. Fun. I'll do it. Welcome to the Rover Station Navigation Mission System. Permission to add new user granted. I had to enter my data into the system. Let's go. All right, everybody's on board. <laughs> it's me, Roy, and I'm on board. I'm sealing the cabin and turning on the air pumps. You can take off your suits. Well, dude, he's flirting. Whoa! Okay, guys. Hold up. Roy is hot. What the hell? Damn. This is a Kuga S300 rover. It's semi-automatic, has pretty good brains. The region map is loaded on display. You choose a wet point and you press the button. The rover navigates. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I want to be a total jerk. Choose the deep three mine on the map and let's go. I registered you doing the rover system. Okay. Let's go. If you just need me to click it. 
God. Roy, I used to think you were hot. But now I do I do agree. I think you look like a cop. <laughs> and tomorrow, Dr. Garrison will be hop on the air. Oh. I didn't read the radio in time, guys. But, you know, it's a demo. They'll probably voice over it somewhere sometime later. Or, you know, they could pay me a hundred bucks and I'll do every voice. You arrive at a huge mining facility. Lots of buildings connected with each other, parking for rovers, huge towers filled with mechanisms. Inside, life is in full swing. The workers are preparing for a new for, to, uh, shift. Together with everyone, you get equipment and go down to the mine at your working place. Something goes wrong, the underground vibrates, and the main power goes off. Seems that you need to restart the main transformer. I'll switch it. Everything starts to shake, and the drilling rig explodes. The alarm goes off. A voice demands to immediately go to the evacuation elevator. Please take me to the evacuation. Please. Ugh. You run out of your room and bolt to the general elevator to evacuate, but the walls of the mine do not withstand a collapse. Dang, we gotta load the level, bro. We gotta load this level. Look at dude. Everything's blowing up. This is the worst day of our life. What are we gonna do, y'all? Okay, guys, I gotta keep auditioning because I'm play I'm playing this demo now. Now I've decided to play this demo to audition for all the roles. Here, this will bring you around. I'm okay. I'll figure it out myself. Um, okay. Find the captain, help him, and be careful. Okay, see, so pretty good voice. I I I I'm just rude to everyone though, because you know it's always fun to play that way. What? I'm worker. Where do I find a gun? No idea, maybe at the warehouse. I'll go. My name's Red Cousin. You give me a chicken sandwich with waffle fries. I'm gonna go. I'm not I'm not dealing with dying people. I'm a manager. He's just he's just wasted uh, labor potential. Center, this is Roy Seward. Collapse Vault 12, big hug bug horde. Bug horde was attacking, we got casualties. Come, stop responding. We need to breach, rescue, and extermination teams. I'm gonna use this. Uh, Starshine, we might finish Death Stranding tonight. Where, where, where we left off last time. The power control, cave. Well, let, let's, uh... System state, let's see. Power's balance. We don't want to turn off the turrets. What are you saying? Damn, that was a big one. How are you? I don't know, I'm a little bit dizzy. I'll rest a bit, it's scary. What do I find a weapon? I think there was a gun near the elevator. Oh, go. Waffle fries. Tomorrow we plan to drill down. If everything goes as good as it does, we'll reach new, a new supercell. What the heck? Lard, we will all die here. Okay, have fun with that. Let's go to the elevator and get a gun. Ooh, we got flashlights out of our crotch area. There's bugs, dude! What the heck? How do you melt the multi-swag? Well, luckily, the turrets did something. Do we have anything to loot? Huh. Oh, we could take this gun. We got the handgun. There's no action for the elevator. Sir, you saved my life. Saeed Kali. Bugs. A pain in the ass. I'm glad you are right. It's alive. Are you hitting dude? To be honest, I'm not sure I want to. Cautious about these beasts, too, aren't you? I avoid them through the engineering rooms. They're also afraid of a bright light, and the turrets can help. Listen, if you're heading down there, I have a favor to ask. What do I get about this? We're saving lives here, and you... Well, th there's no note then. Take care. Friendly advice. Don't ask Captain about that. That's all. <laughs> Hope to see you again. Man, maybe I shouldn't be the asshole this run. I'm missing all my side quests. Starshine Kitten in chat says, this is kind of like The Office. Okay. Could somebody link Carly the Moth to the Discord? Uh, let me see if I could do it. Invite. Copy. Try that. And you can find the rat hole in there. Uh, pump access, no action. Pump access, no action. Pump access. Can't. I don't. I can aim. I can aim. Breed. Explaining how the power works now. The warehouse is the lowest priority of the power distribution queue. If anything happens, the lights and turrets will turn off there. This room of the elevator will have the highest priority. We could switch lines to fix that. Ah, uh, we might have to switch lines. Okay. Multi tool. 
We want to enable this, but not enough power. So we have to disable engineering power. And then we've we've turned on warehouse power. It's gotten some kills. We are good at killing. Okay, wait. I want to explore. Was there something I missed? Oh, we, we need to have the power on to go in there, right? Pump access, no power. Wait, let, let's do a switchy poo again. Let's do a switchy poo. Okay, okay. We run it. We run it. We hit the press of the breed button. No, never mind. That wasn't. Wait. Okay, never mind. That didn't do anything. Uh, we'll switch it again, and then we're gonna go somewhere else. Boo, 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 boo. The bugs don't like the lights, and you know what? I don't like the dark. So I guess we're perfect enemies. Okay, what is this? Breed. Transportation system. System state. No connection. System will collapse. Oh, can't believe there's so much breeding issues. Breeding. What a topical issue. But don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. Oh, he's gone. I was going to kill him. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I wonder if we could sneak or something. Ivan, there's too much DSD military here. I thought the Planetary Administration doesn't have anything to do with our research, but these battlers are right behind watching us the whole time. Please reduce their presence. Hmm. What's so special about this place that the government is here? I don't know. I'm just an abusive manager. <laughs> it's just like the office. I'm, I'm the Michael Scott of the game Drake. Hello. Hello, turret. I wish you would talk to me. I wish my only friend in this game was the turret. Okay, anything cool to grab here? Maybe this is a special closet. It is not a special closet. Oh, but there's the power cell. It's the green one. We gotta bring it back. Disable power unit. Uh, we got it, baby. Start running. Get your freak ass on. Get your freak stuff on. The passage there leads to the lower level, but it's not safe. The crisper tracks are seen in the caves. The way leads to the lower level, but it's gotta be explored. Okay, that's why we could get all your freaking bullets, babe. Let's watch out. Oh, you can see all the bugs traveling down there. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. We got a couple dead shots there. We're alive. You gotta snipe them with your little bullets, man. We gotta snipe them with our little bullets. Yeah. 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 Oh. Okay, watch out, yo. We're going down these passages like we're leaving Loot Gulaid for the deserts. We're, we're going to find the frozen scarab boss. We're going to get friggin' farted on. We took a little D. Took a little D because of bad reflexes. Not my fault. Oh, shit, shit. We should have reloaded. We took a little D because of bad reflexes. You thought of a game concept that's problematic? What was it, Lyle? Okay, good shots there. Good shots there. Good shots. Okay, we're, we're going down many paths. But yeah, I like it. When you get the little when you get the little blue circle, wonder if it should be a different color. Because blue is kind of... Like, maybe if it was blue now, but then, like, red when I when it locked on and showed me I could do kill. Because it kind of blends in with them a little bit right now. Uh, but I like the idea of that. Uh-oh, Drake. We, we don't want to leave. The further part of the prologue of the first chapter is description form only. Oh... Uh. Oh. Well, let's read the prologue story. Uh, let's say we went through the bug caves. The caves are filled with bugs, but your skills don't let you down, and you successfully deal with them. In the next cave, you see another split. One of the roads leads to the cave where the captain is. We're going to continue exploring the cave. A stealth breeding game like Metal Gear. Oh, you're talking about uh, or Orgasm Girl on Newgrounds. 
While you're getting deeper into the passage, another shake comes. The exit gets blocked by rubble. Looks like you're locked in this cave. The only way out is forward. You can hear calls on the radio. I'll walk towards the light. Shout out, Zero Foot Lover. Shout out. Follow the light, you find yourself in a large cave. Jagged, rocky walls changed to smooth, polished metal with symbols carved in it. You can't understand them. A pulsating greenish light is coming from the symbols. One of the plates is di damaged by the drill. The bell plates converge to the center of the cavern. Here at the pedestal, a small cylinder is found. In its core, something reminiscent of a lamp. Something reminiscent of a lamp is pulsating with a greenish light. You're drawn. I'm touching it. It absorbs me. I see incoherent images. I hear speech I don't understand. You come to your senses on the surface in a large room in the main building. Oh, there's an alien civilization that's spoken to me. The, he and his ancestors managed to conquer this wild world, rejecting outsiders found their home here. The task is to keep the home for future generations. The found tracks of the alien civilization would destroy all these efforts because the planet will have to be evacuated by the UN orders. The scientists gathered in the room start to resent. They are talking about the importance of the first contact. Humanity doesn't have the right to interfere. The director interrupts them. He takes a deep breath and gives an order to leave no witnesses. I'm running away. I'm, I'm going to be a witness. No, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... I'm going to friggin'... I'm going to get out. The director addresses me personally. He tells me that the artifact has made a connection. And it can't be cut just like this. The only way is to kill me. End my misery because the artifact will take over my mind. I'm going to try and say something. He steps closer. But I have a... He's got green glow in his eyes. He's contacted with the artifact or another one. There are several steps left when suddenly there's a loud pop. A blast wave blows the director. And, and then you get blown. And then vapor. I better get out of there. I'm rescued by Saeed, even though I was a dick to him. He tells you he's been keeping an eye on the security department and the director's schemes. We'll meet at the closest supply station. You steal two rovers and block the other tech. Saeed asks you to keep the artifact try to get the Virgil supply station. What the heck? A new user recorded. Welcome to Kuga S300 Rover. Yes. Uh, let's go to Virgil. Let's go. We're traveling. The blue line fills. We're on the planet. Pursuit detected. Source station deep 315. Pursuit will be displayed as red routes. Oh, they're cra it's like FTL. They're catching up. Okay, okay. There's a Drake Security Department rover on the radar. According to the scan data, the rover's in power saving mode. Several living forms have been detected. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go check it out. The DSD rovers have buried in the same. There's several bugs and bodies of dead employees. Fighting sounds are heard inside the rover. You poach the cargo hold where the sounds are coming from. The door flies open and there's the body of another guard. A tall upright creature, more like a bug, comes out. The department asks, are you with them? I must say, nah, I don't like them either. It decided to talk to you? You decided to listen to the creature. I guess since we connected with the artifact, Carr, as he calls himself, was abducted by people during the reconnaissance. He finds out about the artifact, calls you the chosen one, asks you to take him with you. Yes, sir! I, I reject humanity, and I embrace Carr. Let's solve the mystery of the artifacts. Yo! Dude, we are... We're Carr-pilled. We are friggin' Carr-pilled. Slop style. We don't care about the slop. We just know we get the top of the food chain side with the zerg man we gotta kill jim rayner we gotta side with the zerg let's go we're at virgil supply station which belongs to the rivers mining galactic corporation after passing the gateway and leaving the suit in the box find yourself a small room that serves as the part of the hangers there's only a few people here saeed said you'll be waiting at the arrivals area so you head there people who are in the room start to follow you uh-oh when I come to my senses, they knocked me out. I've been tied to a couch. I'm being taken to the airlocks. They're going to start to have their way with me. Just kidding. Right from the airlock, they're attacked from behind by Saeed. Saeed arms you and tells you to get out. They will cover you from above. The people who captured you are mercenaries. They bought the entire hangar from Rivers Mining and plan to hand you over to the DSD. Now all you need to do are oh, these freaking jerks. Let's get out of here. I'm going to dress up as a soldier. Oh, shit. The helmet completely covers my face. The size is slightly larger than yours, but it's not really noticeable. Most mercenaries simply do not pay attention to you. However, one of them, apparently someone in charge, stops you and starts asking a couple of questions. Off to a private hangar. What are you doing here? Uh, this is an inspection. You ask if there's any prohibited substances or objects in the hangar, illegal activities. Where's my friend Carr? The mercenary is clearly afraid of such pressure. He says that everything is fine at the station and nothing illegal. Oh, 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 everything's fine. Everything's fine at the station. No, there's nothing illegal. 
Okay, just, I'll, I'll get you the papers you need. Taking the advantage of the confusion. Taking the ad taking the advantage. Taking advantage of the confusion, you leave the hangar. Find yourself in a small corridor where Saeed is. He praises your resourcefulness and asks you to follow him into the small office nearby. You follow Saeed into the small closet. There are several people sitting here who help to free you. Saeed reveals that he is part of a resistance that wants to uncover a plot by the security department and remove the administration of the Council of Nations in order to declare Drake's independence. He says that the new technology you found can help with this. You need to figure out how. That's not going to solve anything. Saeed understands your distrust, but leaves your unwillingness to see the global picture is to blame. In any case, he asks you to go further to the Euphoria Station and find Ulma Brenner. Well, even if you disagree with me, you should go find Ulim. Ulim Benner. Okay, why not go together, Saeed, huh? But they might need a lot more support in Maryland. Uh, Saeed's not surprised that we've got Carr. Okay, we should teach him the language. About the partner. I already knew that he was, he already knew the partner was dead. Kit was good for it, but shared their ideas. I don't have any more questions, Saeed. The main thing now is not get caught by the DSD patrols. So get out of Virgil as fast as you can, because the pursuit's still after you. He wishes you good luck and shows you how to get to the arrivals area at the station. There, you can repair the rover. Let's go, let's go. You are at a supply station. There's a bar, a small shop, a technical workshop, storage rooms. Uh, here you can rest and restore the rover. So basically, the, the whole demo has kind of become a text adventure for now, because they don't have everything built. I'm going to approach a young girl. <laughs> She sees how exhausted I am and assumes you've been on the road for a long time. She asks if you know what happened. The question seems strange to you, but the girl reassures her name is Nancy Bruce. She works with Drake's Free Radio. I'm just passing by. I don't trust anybody. She gets suspicious and asks you a few more questions and seems to lose interest. Okay. Find out what the bartender's worried about. Mitch pours me a drink. At first he tries to be evasive, but he gives up. I have a request for you. You know that you're not yet to stay on Virgil for a long time. Uh, you gotta bring the package of when you're on the way out for my lover, Laura, who works at the scientific station. I'm not a freaking courier. <laughs> I don't do anything for these people. Approach a drunkard who's muttering something. You meet a staggering man not far from the lockers. His eyes are swollen, his speech erratic. He's trying to explain something important to you. There's something he can't get out of his locker next to, which he is standing. You're trying to find out what's really going on. The drunkard only says that he completely forgot the password. He came up with it while he was drunk, but now he's sober and doesn't remember it. He asks you to bring him something strong to regain consciousness. But check out the nearby lockers. Some lockers here are not closed. You decide to search them in case someone left a bottle of alcohol. I'm going to search. Okay. I'm going to give him the beer from the lockers. His eyes look hazy. The hands are shaking. The beer doesn't have much effect on him, but this should be enough for a while. He unlocks the locker, gets his tools. He offer, uh, upgrades my suspension for free. I can also find spare parts. I'm going to rob him. <laughs> we got to leave. He admits that the rover is good, but it looks like it hasn't been serviced in a long time. He recommends checking it more often. I'm going to hit the road. Okay, guys. Oh, shoot. We got we to gotta get moving. Let's go to Euphoria. Whoa. According to Dr. Garrison, the Drake Garco equation says aliens have to be contacted in 20 years. Dang, you can't really, you don't have much time to choose where you're going to go. Uh, changing viewpoints. Zoom in, zoom out. I don't know what, oh, that centers us. What's going on? Attention, radio scanning has detected several incoming targets. Kuga 300, this is independence patrol. Stop immediately for security checks. Accelerating will be regarded as an act of a defiance. But stop and wait. Let's see if I could talk my whale out with this. Soldier of the Independence Patrol greets you after several questions about cargo passengers and the purpose of the trip. He says that you have violated territorial border the lands that belong to Colonel Pete Baroy and demands payment for further travel. I'm going to bluff. The whole company of security soldiers is rushing after me. If I stay here a few more minutes, they'll get everybody here. Well, he's like, oh, shit. Uh, okay. Hey, well, if you lied to me, I'm going to find you. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to Euphoria. Spelled with an F. My favorite show with Sydney Sweetie and Zendaya. I'm just dying to see Zendaya. I'm just dying to see Zendaya. 
Now, to the weather. In the eastern part of the light, but possible formation of dust storms and active movement in the dunes. Be careful, there may be sudden decreasing invisibility. <sighs> Goes a little fast for me. God, they're, they're so much... They're, they're catching up with me. Passing another high dune, and notice a hollow, rocky spurs hidden in the sand. You can't explode it. Explain it, but the place is drawing to you. As you get closer, you feel unwell. Decide to rest a little. You're sitting in front of yourself, but your eyes glow with a bright green light. Oh, I'm speaking... To myself in a weird dream, I'm astral projecting when I wake up. Only a couple minutes have passed. I've stopped near a cave. I'm going to explore this cave. The senses quickly lead you to a rock formation, which as you approach, begins to shake and reveals a passage. You find three metal plates, each with its own symbol. By touching the plate, the symbols change. You put symbols on all the plates that form a pattern. Oh, so there's going to be a puzzle there. The pedestal broadcasts the message directly to your head. You understand it abruptly. The message is about something important. He arrived on this planet. The one who recorded this message asked to prepare everything, strengthen individual parts of the guard, and block dangerous areas. You feel that the local system has tried to get right into your mind. An ancient alien pistol is hiding behind the barrier. You can succumb to the system, lose your mind, but get a weapon? Or close your mind from the eternal interference. Keep my time. I am losing part of my mind, baby. Yes. Carr says they can find many such rooms in Miraz, the world between Haraz, the place where people like Carr live in the death, and Naraz, the place where people live on the surface. It's a great gift. Yes, we're going, we're becoming an alien. Uh-oh. Amid the runes. Okay, what what are we doing? It's it's red. It's red. You wasted too much time. Security department rovers are caught up. There's a field checkpoint right ahead. It looks like they've already spotted you. Apparently this is a vanguard. They might not even know what they're looking for. You could try to skip or go around them. I'm gonna try and trick them. You drive closer and receive signal from the security department. He asks you to visit the station to verify your identity. Once you get inside, they understand that you're a person they're seeking for. After a short firefight, you finally beat them. Damn it. Can't believe they got me. Forward. Forward. March. We will make it to Euphoria. They are not chasing us currently. We killed them with our new alien pistol. With our new alien pistol. The SOS signal has been detected. I'm performing an analysis. The source of the signal has been found. The signature radio trace matches a small randing rover. According to the scan data, the rover is partially covered with sand. I said randing rover. Coordinates added to the navigation system. Uh, let's examine it. On the spot, you see a rover. Partially covered with sand. A man in a spacesuit connected directly to a life support system is sitting next to it. Apparently he's still alive. He tries to wave his hand, but he doesn't have much strength. Seems strange that the pirates left the rover and didn't take it with them. But it looks less like a trap. Bodies of his dead colleague are scattered around. You approach the person. He says his name is Paul. He confesses that they were attacked by pirates and left here to die, asking for water and components to fix the rover. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> He's already dead. If you give him water, as you leave, you hear a loud scream. It's the whole team, which seemed to... To you dead, rises sharply. They were pretending. He demands in a menacing tone that he give us. No, I'm collecting myself when I attack. Each Paul's bed is extremely strong and fast. You barely escape death, but you defeat them all. You return to the rover. What the heck? The heck? I can't believe Paul's guys were fake guys the whole time. The whole time Paul's guys were fa fake guys fake guys. I want alien Sydney Sweeney. That sounds fun. We are now in Euphoria. This marks the end of the current mode. The next story is still in development. You could try again and make different choices, return to the main menu, or exit the game. Well, how about that? I, I'm curious to see, I mean, how it plays uh, as, as a real game, of course. Uh... Uh, it was, uh, I think, I think there's some potential there. The story seems kind of interesting. I'm a little hooked and I'm just eager to actually play it and shoot around and kill things more or do weird things. But you know, it's very early stage. Who knows what will happen? And that is Drake.